Hello everyone and welcome back to a special bonus stream, stream courtesy of my guest today, Matthew Wong, who was very kind and des decided to use their uh, Fight of Founder tier to choose me, even gifted me this game, Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Legacy of the Duelist, uh, oh god, Link Evolution, it's such a long title, um, in order to actually play against each other and I was the only one of the team that actually was kind of aware of Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, I watched the show up until like midway through Battle City and um, and uh, th then kind of stopped. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I've always been kind of aware of it and I, you know, the, the, the gameplay always seemed pretty cool. Uh, I just never got a chance to get into the cards because I swore off card games after Pokemon because it, it cost so much money. <laughs> Um, but yeah, Matthew, uh, thank you for requesting this, and uh, you, you decided you wanted to have this streamed for everybody. Yeah, I thought it'd be fun. Uh, we don't, uh, at least from like the the Fighter Founders that I've seen, I haven't seen like a lot of like card game based video games, so I thought it'd be fun for anyone who was interested to be able to watch. Uh, so yeah, thanks for you know like being willing to do this. I love Yu-Gi-Oh! I've been playing it forever, so super excited to do this. Yeah, I, I always thought it was interesting it's was, it was really funny going back to the uh stuff on netflix and seeing it uh seeing like duelist kingdom and like those rules make no sense like attack the moon <laughs> <laughs> exactly attack the moon uh you can only get rid of life points by damage like by destroying monsters not by attacking directly i'm like how the heck did they win i think it was also only 2000 life points yep 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 so weird so, yeah, just to have some basis, in order to prepare for this, I um, played through the story mode of, just for the hero side, um, of uh, the original Yu-Gi-Oh! and Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. So that's what the rule set we've been sticking with, is those original cards. And, uh, yeah, well, this, these are the cards that kind of, like, stuck with me. It was like, you know what, I feel like I can do something with this, so let's see how I do. <laughs> yeah, I am, I'm using a Red Eyes deck that might have some... Um later support that was beyond GX, uh, I'm hoping that doesn't impact the match too much. I guess, I don't know, we'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> I was just so shocked to see them not allow us to use, oh, looks like I get to choose uh, first or second. I'm going to choose to go second. Alright. I was just so unprepared for them to not allow us to use banned cards, uh, even in a friendly match. Yeah, they, uh, really made some interesting choices oh my gosh <laughs> it's amazing how you can look at what you get and be like oh, i guess i can try to make this work um oh gosh i <laughs> all right we do this this is gonna be something <laughs> So I'm I'm noticing maybe maybe this deck might um maybe it might pop off a little too hard, but let's get started. Oh we'll see. Right. We'll I'm gonna see. Set a, uh then I'm gonna fire off pre preparation of rights. Alright. So well, I get to add one ritual spell to my hand and then uh the monster that specifically lists on that ritual spell. So I'll add Red Eyes Transmigration and Lord of the Red. Alright. Next, I am going to fire off Red Eyes Transmigration and okay. Ritual Summon Lord of the Red, sacrificing himself. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's the thing that caught me off guard when I went to make a deck. It's like, oh god, there's so many cards that just work with each other constantly. It's like, how? Like, you have to almost see the entire set and know everything in order to figure out exactly how the heck you're going to um, do anything. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, I hear you. If it wasn't for me, like, watching, like, videos on certain decks, I probably wouldn't be able to do half this stuff. Um, I'm gonna fire off Red Eyes Insight, which allows me to send a Red Eyes monster from my hand or deck to the grave. I'm gonna send Red Eyes Black Dragon. Okay. And then I'm going to activate Lord of the Red's effect off of that spell to destroy one of your monsters. All right. Um. All right. All right. Let's see what that face down was. 
Oh, Sparkman! Hey, Elemental Heroes! That's fun! Yeah, I... I mean, I've recently been playing a lot of uh, the GX stuff, so it's just like, all right, we'll do some G the GX. I, the elemental heroes are always interesting. <laughs> no, I hear you. I think I'm pretty sure I have an E hero deck that's not that's that that would be good to go based on the no ban card. So I'll switch over to that after this. Um, I'll put down this card that I got, and I think. I'll oh my gosh! On we just got raided by Real Bow Zakaruga. <laughs> Thank you very much for the raid. Hi, raid. <laughs> Yay! I am. All right. uh, it's my first time playing uh, Yu-Gi-Oh against anybody. I've only been playing against the AI, and it is a already a completely different <laughs> experience. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Oh, Deem of the Maple. Thank you very much for the follow. Okay, what do we do? Uh, on your draw phase, I'm gonna activate Return of the Red Eyes. All right. Uh, if I control a red eyes uh, monster, I can target one normal monster in my graveyard and special summon it. Uh, but I don't control a red eyes right now. Unfortunately, Lord of the Red doesn't count as red eyes. Oh, uh, okay. I, 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 it frustrated me. Frustrated me so many times where I was like feeling like I could turn things around and I misread how it all works and completely screwed up my <laughs> screwed up my uh, game. It's like, well, I've lost. That's no. I totally get what you mean. Alright, um... Alright. We're gonna go with this method. It's not foolproof, but I'll take it. Neospatian Grand Mole. Because... At the start of the damage phase... When I go to attack... I can instead choose to activate the special ability, which just push that thing right back in your hand. Yep, as well as mine. Is. And that is... I love this thing because, yeah, I mean, it's not great in this point because I'm completely defenseless right now. Mm -hmm. But when it takes a lot of setup to get something going, it is perfect for disrupting that. Like, throwing... Like, I gotta uh, do all this crazy stuff and get this one card and it takes forever to make it happen. Oh, okay. Put it back in your hand. Do it again. <laughs> yeah, no, I have found that, like, with the decks I like to play, um, and my wife is the one who figured this out, uh, she figured out that the strategies that I like to use, if there's, like, returning to hand, I am just not prepared for it. Mm -hmm. Um, it's just such a good disruption. And I think there's an argument that Granmul's the best Neospatian, but the, the, the competition's not tough there, you know? <laughs> right. I mean, I, uh... <laughs> I, I experienced this a few times. I'm like, my god, this thing is just saving my butt right now. All right, we're going to flip summon this Blackstone Legend and fire off its effect. Uh, I get to special summon one level seven or lower Red Eyes monster from my deck. Yeah, I had no idea that uh, Red Eyes had so much build around him. You don't see that with Joey's stuff when you're playing through him. <laughs> no, not at all. And a lot of this stuff happened later on in the, in the, uh, in the, like the, the lifespan of Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. They're just like, oh, he's popular. We should do some more stuff with these cards. Uh -huh. DM the Maple, yes, we are playing each other. Uh, now I'm going to use Return of the Red Eyes effect now that I have a Red Eyes on the field, and I'm going to bring out Red Eyes Black Dragon to my other Black Dragon from the graveyard. Dan, no, we welcome to past Season 1 GX meta. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Uh -huh. That's fascinating. Yeah, you know what? I think we're going to leave it there. And we're going to go into the battle phase. And I'm just going to swing in for 4,800. Yeah, exactly. If you had gotten, like, one more monster, I'd probably be done. <laughs> so, I I think, um... Yeah, I'm going to do it just just for fun. Uh, we're, we're, I am not going to use this deck again today. I think this deck is a little too modern. Um... <laughs> But I'm going to, because you, you went through, C, like, like the original Yu-Gi-Oh! and GX, right? Correct. So, I'm going to show you an Xyz Summon. Okay. So Also, uh, Rman X, thank you very much for the 500 bits. Thank you very much appreciated. Um, go, I'm sorry, Matthew, go ahead. Hey, no problem, I totally get it. You're being a good streamer. Um, <laughs> so, Xyz Summoning is in the next, no, two seasons of Yu-Gi-Oh! away from where you are now. 
Um, and if you have monsters of a similar level on the field, you can overlap them and then special summon this Xyz monster. Holy crap. Uh-huh. And they have material. So this one, uh, like, you can detach the material that's underneath the card and send it to the graveyard to activate effects. But once they run out of material, then you typically can't use their effect afterwards. I see. Also, the reason why I brought out Flare Metal Dragon to end this, even though it's main phase two, um, while this card has material, each time your opponent activates a card or effect, it inflicts 500 damage to you. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you only get one more effect this game. Huh. Well, I'm in trouble. <laughs> Yeah, my my, I'll be honest. My hand was garbage to start with. Like there was no variety. It was just like here, have all monsters. That's all I can do. <laughs> Mole, you know help me. <laughs> Over you, you outplayed it. You didn't take the damage. Oh really? Oh my gosh! I didn't even realize that'd be possible. Yeah, I guess Neospatian. I I'm not like I'm a very casual like dedicated person to this like i'm more dedicated than the average person but i'm by no means an expert um i guess neo station outspeeds it dang i would not have expected that uh also real quick uh atomos first time chat and also 150 bits from you thank you so much i should also real quick now i'm thinking about it uh where was it so here we go. Ray, uh, shout out real out Zakaruga. Zakaruga, I believe. Definitely shout out them and check them out. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, I had a trap card that brought back Red Eyes back, and then it uh, activated Return of the Red Eyes too, so I got back the other one. Yeah. Continue my battle step. I'm not doing crap. <laughs> Uh, this is the deck that I beat the majority of the game with. Wow, that's impressive. Yeah, Red Eyes, um, Red Eyes is pretty decent, and it doesn't even have its most modern support yet. Uh, that's and, crazy. Yeah, and one of the more recent tins um, from, I think, last year, they added a Red Eyes and Dark Magician fusion uh -huh. that's just, just broken. I did make this a best out of three to keep it interesting, so... Okay, very cool. Do we get to switch decks? I... Uh, looks like you can swap cards if you want. Oh, like side deck. Oh, okay, side deck cards. Well, you don't have any side deck cards, because I didn't know what side deck meant, so... <laughs> yeah, so a side deck, um, in like these best of threes, your side deck acts as like a mini trunk that you're allowed to bring with you, and then in between duels, you can um, add and take out of your deck using your side deck. Hmm, that's cool. Yeah! yeah. So that way, uh, when you're doing like best of threes at like a tournament, and you like run into something that your opponent is playing, and your deck isn't like prepared necessarily for it, but you have a side deck, then you can, um, you know, throw that in there. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna fire off pre-preparation of the rights, like my favorite card. That is amazing. I, I saw right. people going nuts for the new, um, uh, what is it, Dark Karibo or whatever. <laughs> I am not sure, but it doesn't surprise me since Karibo gets like a like a like a retrain every um, like every season. Uh -huh. It's like people loads, you know. That's that's so like, really funny. Yeah, like a Molga Dedende. There's like. Curry Bandit, uh, Performapal Karibo, I think. I can't remember the exact name of it, but. Um. You know what? That's like one of the best elemental heroes, if not the best. Yeah, let's see. Maybe not the best. Maybe Stratos is the best. I just found as I played, uh, enjoyed it. This is probably a big trap, but oh well. <laughs> nope, it's just Magician of Faith. Uh, what I cited in because the deck, uh, the game did not want me having Red Eyes, Dark, and Metal Dragon, but I am going to bring back Pre-Preparation of the Rights from my graveyard. 
using Magician the Face effect. Right. And let's see what my draw has in store for me. Uh, that's not terrible. But it's... Mm, oh, there's a play there. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Oh, Demon um, the Maple, yes. I did base, base it mainly on Jaden, because I just liked how it was very versatile when I was playing through it. Uh, through the GX storyline. It's like, oh, okay, there's a lot of options here. <laughs> oh, I have to send that too? Uh, no. So have you uh, gone through every se season and gone back to front on, like, do you have every card in this game? I don't have every card because um, while while I I am I like this card progression or like gaming system more so than like other Yu-Gi-Oh games, because some Yu-Gi-Oh games card progression is just god awful. Uh -huh. uh, this game still is not like perfect. Uh, because I would have liked it better, like when you go in through like the slot machine and whatnot, or like the pack opening. If you've gotten three copies of a card, it won't put those back into like the pool that you can get them again. Mm. But it doesn't do that. So I've gotten like a lot of duplicates, and so like I'm I have like a lot of like 312 out of 313 on the packs. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's not been great. But in terms of like story progression and the challenge duels, I've done it all. Okay. This was like my go-to game in my commute during grad school. <laughs> nice. Um... Also, Lord of the Red's effects where he like gets to destroy a monster, it also applies to magic and trap mm -hmm. cards, and it can also be fired off during your turn. Mm -hmm. Do that. Well, how do we want to do this? I am yeah, not. I, I think I looked at the initial tutorial of five Ds before. I'm like, I have been playing. I I really need to actually just get this battle <laughs> started with you, uh, so we can do, do this whole thing and uh, figure it out. And I'm like, saw the rules for that. I was like, oh god, I'm in trouble. <laughs> yeah, synchros are are kind of interesting. Um, uh, you you need to just do math like addition mm -hmm. so like to summon you have to have like monsters who levels equal the exact level of the synchro monster and you have to have like a tuner monster which is just said in like the we you know where it says the type of the monster and the effect mm -hmm. so like for me it just feels too situational even though there's like a lot of support to make it consistent um yeah i'm gonna let that go so synchro is like out of all the summoning mechanics is like one of my least favorites yeah, it's, it's gonna be interesting. I, like, I'll I don't know how long, uh, how quickly I'll be able to, uh, um, get you know get back to this and play more. But uh, I d I did have fun while playing it. it. It's it's it is cool to just go through the season and have truncated versions of what's going on and uh, learn a bit. Yeah, I'm glad to hear it. It also comes at a time when they finally showed off the new uh, new quote unquote uh, Yu-Gi-Oh game. Uh, they recently showed actual gameplay for, like, their Spectator, uh, like, premium Yu-Gi-Oh! game. Mm hmm Yeah, so mm -hmm. that looks pretty good, hopefully. Um, let's see. Yeah, you're gonna fire off Prisma's effect. Yep. And I, in response, am going to activate Lord of the Red and destroy Prisma. Oh. Yeah, Lord of the Red just goes off of uh, effects. Oh, so, see, I didn't realize that. Shit. <laughs> oh, no problem, no problem. I, I should have done better explaining. Yeah, so Lord of the Red, um, just effect is fired off regardless of turn. I get to destroy cards on the field. Uh, dang it. I had a plan <laughs> that disrupted that plan. <laughs> oh, well. Hey, Sci-Fi sci Lullabies. And also, Moto Sonic, uh, thank you very much for the follow. Uh, 
Yeah. It's not what Had a full on plan and just like, ah, oh, dang it. I should have, I should have, uh, done what I originally planned to do first, but I was like, well, let's get a little extra in here and, uh, make, make this work. <laughs> try to, try to oh. c continue to set myself up. Hey Derek, my game just crashed. Oh, it did. It's yeah, not showing. I... Oh, there we go. Your opponent left the match. Oh, that stinks. I did see somebody uh, warn about that. All yeah, right. that's like the biggest complaint about this game. It's, it does seem to be very uh, rough in that regards. Okay, well, uh, let's see, actually. And you know what? I just, uh, now that I'm back in the main menu, my, this is good. My elemental hero and my cyber angel decks are good to go. Okay, cool. Uh, so, so my plan was, is I had a, uh, well, I had a, no, actually I should leave my, uh, what I have in here secret until I actually have to use it. That way I can catch you off guard. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Uh, what would you like me to use? Would you like me to use my, uh, elemental heroes or my cyber dragons? Which, whichever you prefer. I, I really but have no preference. Angel. Um, we'll go cyber angel. All right. But uh, how, are the, how are the new Yu-Gi-Oh! games looking? Because I know they announced a bunch more. Yeah, so they announced, like, a. I think this one might already be in Japan for the Switch. Like, it's already out. It's, it's, I, th I think, I think it's based on, like, a new anime that's <laughs> based on the format of Duel Links for the phone, which is, like, bite-sized Yu-Gi-Oh! Mm -hmm. So, like, uh, only 20-card decks. Uh, nice. Um, only 20 card decks. You you can only have three monsters or three spells and traps on the field. Like, it's very, like, fed up. Um, Interesting. So I think they made, like, a story mode adventure kind of game for that, where, like, you go around walking as, like, an actual 3D model. Um. Hmm. Oh, boy. This is not looking good. So there's <laughs> that. Uh. And then Master Duel is, like, Hearthstone Yu-Gi-Oh, basically. Like, it's, like, very much looking like Konami's answer to getting Yu-Gi-Oh into, like, a premium spectator, like, East card eSport. Oh, wow. Uh-huh. And and it looks good, but I hope it's, you know, its monetization system isn't killer, but it's Konami, so I have no hope. <laughs> yeah, no, true. Uh, real quick, uh, Torimax, thank you very much for the Tier 1 subscription. Uh, three months now saying, hello, y'all. Hello. Y'all. hello. I've heard, I saw people pretty excited about it, so, um, that is pretty cool. Um, I don't know, like I said, I might try to look at it a little bit more, because I, I've, like I said, I watched the anime, never got the card game at all, but, uh, fortunately, watching the anime does give you kind of the basis, maybe not the stra best strategies, but at least an idea of how the game works. Yeah, um, and what's really interesting is that, like, iconic... Yu-Gi-Oh cards, especially from like the original season of Yu-Gi-Oh, um, some of them are just were staples for so long. So I didn't realize how powerful like Jinzo was until like you know some YouTubers were talking about the history of Yu-Gi-Oh, and then like I went and tried it out and I was like, oh my god, yeah, Jinzo is kind of broken. <laughs> That's amazing. And like I always just remember it being the bowl cut turquoise hair kid uh, hair. That guy's card. Esperoba, that's his name. That is, and he's not even in this uh, game. Which is odd. Alright. Um. Set that down. They just love giving me this card, I swear to God. <laughs> that's a good card. He's like essential. For, for elemental heroes. Mm -hmm. Alright, I think that's the first life points I've taken off of you this entire time. <laughs> Goodbye, Sonic Bird. You've served me well. <laughs> Alright. That's not exactly what I wanted to see. I think we can make it work, though. Uh, Cyber Petite Angel is great, allows me to go searching for a lot of different things, and I am going to search for... No, not that. That doesn't sound good. Oh, uh, that's my only option. I just though. think of Teo when I, I see that card. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 
it's 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 oddly not Taya support though, but I get what you mean. Cause there's like I think there's a call called like Happy Friendship or something. Yes, I believe so. That looks exactly like this. And I think there might actually be like an actual petite angel. Um, I don't even know if uh what's her name actually ever pulls out this card in the anime. I um don't know. I I do remember when I did, had to do that Taya versus um uh my fight. Ta my Taya just kicked her, cr kicked the crap out of her. I'm like, oh my god, Taya! <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what that back row is. Mirror Force. Oh hey! yeah. Hey. I I love this card. It feels cheap, but I'm like, I don't care. I like it. <laughs> no, it's good. Um, but luckily, Machine Angel Ritual is gonna save my cards. Oh okay. Yeah. I didn't realize uh, that was pot. Man, that thing can just do everything. Yeah, it's a nice piece of ritual support. Um, as far as ritual-based archetypes go, I really like Cyber Angels. Hmm. I think Shout they're... Shout them I think... with a, a highlight message saying, Play my trap card, host Pitner Games. Thank you very much for the host, uh, Shout them Wape. Alright, what to do, what to do, what to do, what to do. You could easily take out my Cyber Petite Angel and I'd be sad. <laughs> that would be that would be tragic. Yeah, it's like the biggest downside of this card. It's just you're gonna get punished for summoning it out, most likely. Uh, I I, pl I, f I find I play kind of defensively. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, though. Um, it depends on, on the format and, like, kind of the your opponent's deck that you're going against. Because stalling is a, is a legitimate option. Mm. Um, oh boy, I just... Can it exceed? Oh, thank god it can exceed. Alright. We... You know what? I actually am going to do this. Um, I'm going to... Do this. And nope, it will not let me do that. Okay. I'm going to do this one. This one. And that one. It is kind of nice that the game lets you know like what you can and can't do. <laughs> yeah. Um. Sometimes I I kind of wish they they would bring up like a little like <laughs> reference like oh you can't do this because of this and like they would highlight the piece of text. Right. Uh, we're gonna activate Dotin's effect and I get to add one of these ritual cards to my hand. We're gonna add this one. Uh, let's see, Jaskerica, uh, yeah, I should be able to stream Grimoire of Souls, no problem. Uh, Amy has a, uh, d d d a Apple Arcade account, and, uh, just use her iPad, and I have a way to stream off of, off of, uh, um, those devices, so we're, I, I'd be good. Right, uh, because I ritualed summon with a specific card for Idaten, now whenever Idaten does life damage to you, you discard a card. Huh, so that effect, I guess that effect that I put down is only uh, works when it's actually face up. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I guess so, because it doesn't say flip. I was also expecting it to go off, but I guess not. Necroshade. All right, then. All right, I'm expecting, like, a really big punish. Like, you just pull out Blade Edge using Necroshade's effect. Because <laughs> I think Blade Edge gets to attack all your all my monsters, which would um, would not be really good right now, because I think Blade Edge is 2,600. I, I don't even... I'll be honest, I don't know if oh. I have Blade Edge. <laughs> you know what? Go searching, though, because I think that's the optimal call right now. You know what? Uh, that that'll do too. As the only reason I have Necro Shade, I'll be honest. <laughs> that is so useful. Yeah, you know, I don't think Necro Shade's effect is bad at all. Oh, later, Top Dog. All right, but who who do you destroy though? That's the question. Uh.
I think that was the best call. Yeah, um, you're making me just discard, so I'm like, you know, <laughs> I don't really want to discard a lot. Yeah, no, card advantage can be a real killer in this game. Um, I'm going to banish Machine Angel Ritual from the graveyard and save it, though. <laughs> because my my hand does not look good, so I need a save. I mean, when you only have one card, it's a little rough. <laughs> yeah. Um... I'm so bummed because the deck I was using in that Game Boy Advance game was all based on hand destruction. So oh, wow. it plays a magic card called Delinquent Duo, and you pay a thousand life points. And you randomly discard a card from your opponent's hand, and then um, your opponent has to discard a card from their hand. So it's a minus two out of their hand. Oh, jeez. Yeah, and then you combine that with Magician of Faith, you bring back Delinquent Duo, that's now all of a sudden another minus two for them. Wow. I, yeah, uh, has Yu-Gi-Oh games over the years been generally good? I, I've honestly not looked at it much because I just assumed that, you know, licensed game, it's probably bad. <laughs> uh, they've been all right. You know, there's some that are better than others, right? Uh, I'm just glad that after the PlayStation 1 days, they stopped trying to make, like, nonsensical games. So, like, if you played some of the older PlayStation 1 Yu-Gi-Oh games, it's it doesn't even follow, like, Duelist Kingdom rules. It's, like random fusions into like arcanas it's really strange it is very weird yeah i think it's are, are are you still playing a card oh did i forget the i'm so sorry i was like waiting on you because i thought it was done i am so sorry nope you're totally good you're absolutely good it happens to all of us um it's like yeah i finished my turn it's like done <laughs> that's all i have to do you know what i think this is no this won't be quite lethal but Smash oh, but back. I can use the graveyard too. Okay, perfect. Um, I am going to ritual summon out this card by banishing also from the graveyard. All right. Yeah, there's two different um ritual cards that Cyber Angels use, and one of them allows you to banish from the graveyard, and it's great. Nice. Yeah. So now uh, I think this Izana now has the same effects as he dots in, where I get to discard if I do battle damage. Oh, wow. I crash with the uh, Izana that does nothing. <laughs> oh, I, I can never dis figure out when um, stuff uh, destroys both cards or when stuff just... Uh, um, uh, let's do this one. Or when stuff... Um, uh, is just fine. Goes back to normal. I hear you. So, oh, when two attack position monsters go into battle, and if they have the exact same attack value, they will both go to the graveyard. Oh, so it's only when it's in defense that that happens. That nothing happens. Okay. Right. Right. If an attacking monster attacks a defense position monster, and the defense is lower, then the attacking monster will destroy the defense position monster and stay on the field. The defense monster goes to the graveyard. And then if the defense is higher, then uh, the attacking, all monsters stay on the field, but the player who uh, declared the attack takes damage. All right. Also, real quick, Smash Mouth with 100 bits saying, just uh, found out something weird. During Sakurai's interview with uh, Kachihiro Suhiro Arata's bar, he mentioned something with regards to drinking water. If I drink mineral water or tap water, I feel sick. Even half a glass of water makes him sick. Instead, he drinks a lot of Coca-Cola Zero, and when Sakurai is preparing to deliver a Smash Brothers Ultimate Character stream, Nintendo sets up uh, Sakurai up with the beverages in advance. That's really weird. Also, Average Demos, thank you very much for the 400 bits saying, apparently it's been four months since I subbed. Woo, haven't caught a stream in a while for a while, but man, I love Yu-Gi-Oh. Won't be able to watch for long, but I hope you're having fun. Personally, my favorite archetypes are Ancient Gears, Luna Fights, and Battery Man. Oh, dang, I have an Ancient Gear deck. I should have rolled that out. <laughs> I, uh, it's, I, I wonder how people figure out, like, what decks are the best, like, for that type of thing. Um, oh, no, wait, this does not look good for me. <laughs> Oh, no! Uh, let's see. Wait, because we both don't have a hand, so even if you slam Neos into my Izana, your your Prisma will beat out my Daten, and then it's just... It's just... <laughs> um, who gets a card first? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, that's my only oh, hope when I have 900 life points. Oh, no! 
But hey, you know, 6,800 against a free 1,700 per turn? I don't have a lot of turns. Oh, this is so bad. Do I have any protection in the graveyard still? Guess we're about to find out. <laughs> I don't! Oh, no! Oh. Well, let's see how this works. <laughs> oh, no, this is so bad. Hey, I'll be very happy with myself if I get one victory. <laughs> Not even a complete set, just one victory. <laughs> hey, you know what, man? You might get it. This <laughs> is not looking good. Oh boy. Um, oh boy. Hey, Keyblade. Analyst says, uh, Duelist says, takes me back to Yata, the Yata days. Um. Okay. Much I can do. I'm trying to do the whole heart of the cards thing because I'm there. I have one card in mind. If I can get it, I'd be very, very happy with myself. But I don't know how likely it is to show up. <laughs> oh, you're telling me heart of the cards. I just. Oh. Uh... You know what? That probably could have been really good for me, but I, I, I messed myself up. Oh, uh... I, hate when, I hate when that happens. Yeah. Yeah, this is. Um... This is not looking good. And if you get a second monster, you're just accelerating the clock for me. Yeah. Because even right now, I only have two more turns after this. Two more draws. Oof. It's going to be close. <laughs> I can just really see it go one way or the others. Come on, Cyber Angel. Do something. Um... Even right. just even just a card to throw down a defense would help delay the inevitable. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do Manju. Uh, Manju can search out a ritual spell or a car, a uh, ritual monster, and I will add Ben Ten to my hand. Ben Ten, <laughs> oh, God. And no kidding, right? I'm then gonna fire off Machine Angel, uh, Merciful Machine Angel. I'm going to tribute Ben Ten to draw two cards. All right, and then I have to select a card to return to the deck. Um, how confident do I feel? I, I, I'm getting greedy. So let's do it. I'm gonna send Sonic Bird to the to back to my deck. All right. Uh, Ben Ten's effect goes off because she was tributed. I get to add a light fairy type monster to my hand. And I am going to add Cyber Angel Brash. Uh, then we're gonna play a really dumb card. Oh boy. That is banned, so it's the only reason it's here. We're gonna fire off Hand Destruction. Uh, we both send two cards to the graveyard from our hand, and then we draw two cards. Oh boy. Oh Jesus, this is not. Uh, okay, well, um... <laughs> what to do? What to do? This is not better. I... I, <laughs> I could have won, but I got greedy. Oh, no! Uh, yeah, that's not... Okay, alright, heart of the cards. We're playing hand destru uh, card destruction. Discard your entire hand, draw that many cards. This did not help either. <laughs> Oof. Alright, well, end my turn. I'll be honest, that probably saved you quite a bit. I don't even know if it saved me. I think I had, if I, if I had kept Sonic Bird and then just let you destroy uh, Manju here, summon out S Sonic Bird, it brings out a ritual spell of my choosing, and I could have gotten a card onto the field, and I could have just ended this, but I got greedy. Mm. Uh, shows me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, then, I always forget to... <laughs> you're good, you're totally good. All right, I just need this to either search a ritual spell or be a ritual spell. It is neither, so... 
Do this. Oh, yep, it's over. It's done. Bring out the Neos. Yeah. I was just waiting to see, like, all right, what's he got? <laughs> yeah, this is this is this is the end of this match. I got greedy and I paid for it. Ah. Uh, wait. Oh. Man. oh. I didn't realize I was during the end phase of my turn. Yeah, I always wait. To, I always, for that kind of thing, I was like, all right, let's see what he's going to do and then try to activate it right before to try to protect myself. Yeah, no, that's smart. Also, awesome. Pokemaster Ian, 1997, thank you very much for the uh, follow. Holy crap, I actually won one. Way to go, man. Way to go. <laughs> that's crazy. All right. Oh, the connection to your component has been lost. That's weird. Uh, it did not say that for me, but it did put me back in the main screen. Yeah. Well, at least we got through that. Uh, uh, oops. At least we uh, got through the entire uh, round. Average Deimos with a victory. Congrats for 200 bits. Thank you so much. Yeah, I, uh, Matthew here <laughs> is uh, really good. At least it feels like that to me, but... <laughs> I could have played that Cyber Angel better, but it's all right. You know what? I, uh, I mean, the thing is, uh, you got... you. I was like, all right, when you had me pick the two cards um, the first time, I'm like, all right, sweet. I am good to go. I have another monster, and I have Swords of Revealing Light. So you're not doing crap. <laughs> and then you got me. You had me get rid of those cards. I'm like, dang it. Yeah, so the mindset of using card destruction is that I have so many monsters that can that give ritual monsters added effects if they're banished from the graveyard for the ritual tribute and then i have the ritual spells that allow them to use the cards from the graveyard and i was like oh you know this card in itself is not fantastic because it requires both of us to have two cards and if we don't have two cards we can't it's just a brick in my hand mm -hmm. but i felt like it was worth the payoff but uh it did not play off uh during that for at least for for me being able to synergize with my cards. But, uh, all right, I have a Elemental Hero, Ancient Gear, or Dark Magician. Uh, I, somebody was saying they really like Ancient Gear, so let's uh, have you, yeah. go ahead and use that one, I'd say. Also, uh, Any13, thank you very much for the follow. And thank you for the first time chat, Ben Tennyson, 90. Uh, unfortunately, can't get on a duel. Uh, this is um, uh, a, a special one-off uh, one thing, at least, at least for now, um, where... Uh, Matthew here is a uh, patron uh, over for uh, for Good Vibes Gaming, and um, he is a uh, did, chose the fight of Founder tier, which allows that, him to choose a game for and any of us to play play a game against or with. And um, he chose Yu-Gi-Oh here, so I've been preparing to try to be ready for this, and this is the results because he uh, asked to have it streamed as well. Also, Crowler's neck is just disturbing. Um, <laughs> there's an anime episode where Crowler and like one of the new hires of Duelist Academy do a two versus one against Pegasus. Um, and it's glorious because it's the introduction of the best tune card ever. Oh, really? What's the what's the best tune card? Uh, it's called Tune Kingdom. It's a field card that also acts as Tune World. Um, but oh, I it does think I do remember using that, but I forget the exact effect. Uh huh. It doesn't allow your tune monsters to be targeted by effects, which is amazing. And then if they were to be destroyed by battle or by like a non-targeting effect like Dark Hole, I can just banish cards from my deck to protect them. Oh wow! Yeah, it's super good. All right. I, uh, when I when I did that battle, I could never, I could not get that freaking card. <laughs> Ridiculous. Um, we're just gonna normal summon Ancient Gear Soldier here. Alright. And then... 
We're gonna equip him with Ancient Gear Tank to boost him up to 19. All right. That is good for now. We're gonna just hit you directly. Yeah, I can't really protect myself, so go for it. <laughs> You still deciding something? I, I've now forgotten to set the turn. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> it's like... <laughs> wasn't you know sure, what? but I thought I'd check. Uh, thank you for checking. I, I it, it did allow me to read these cards, though. Yeah, that's, I, I'll be honest, that's basically what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> I I like Ancient Gear, and I kind of get their gimmick, but I, I'm not an expert in them, for sure. Oh, no. I was trying to decide which card to destroy, and I, I think I've ended up on this one. You know, that sounds pretty good. Um, yeah, but I think it gives me an effect when it gets destroyed. If this card is destroyed in Spell or Trap Zone, you can spell to summon one Ancient Gear monster from your hand or graveyard. Yeah, exactly. So, that's, that's the thing is... Uh, um, I, I was like, I knew both of them do that, so I was like, well, we'll see. Say hello to Ancient Gear Gadgetron! Ah, crap. Well, that's scary. That's uh, pretty effective, I'd say. Yeah, uh, huh. it only it's like two of one of its effects though. Uh, if this card attacks, your opponent cannot activate any spells or traps during the, while it's attacking. Hmm. Send a monster from your deck to your graveyard. Let's say goodbye to Necroshade. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I was trying to I say was, there was a better idea, but no, you're right. I was wondering if you were gonna like throw me off and be like, "No, Sparkman." Um, <laughs> I think there's an elemental hero fusion called Miracle Fusion, and I think Might you can. Be. Yeah, I think you can banish materials from your graveyard as the fusion. Oh, well, that's a bummer. <laughs> oh, I need that. <laughs> also, uh, uh, Silent Sage, thank you very much for the uh, follow. Oh, goodbye, Ancient Gear Soldier. All right, now I got to figure out what the hell to do about the other one. <laughs> All right, there's... I remember Crowler being a real pain in the butt to deal with. My worry is that if I put any monsters down the field to try and build it up, my presence, your Neos is just going to destroy them. And I can't target your Neos at all right now. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Nothing. I mean, I still don't know what's fully in your extra deck. Like, I don't even know if you're running, like... I assume you're running the, the Neospatian fusions, because you have so many Neospatians. But I, for the life of me, can't remember <laughs> what like, half of them do. With the exception of they all go back to the extra deck after they've been fused out. I do remember that. Mm -hmm. Uh, so... Oh, I think they're contact fusions. No, is that right? Something good, I think. Anything good. <laughs> oh, God. 
I'll be honest, I'm in, I feel like I'm in a little bit of trouble. <laughs> what you need is, um, what is it called? Elemental Hero Shining Flare Wing Van. Oh, really? I think that would give you the attack boost, but that's only if you're running, you know, all those cards. So you would need a way to bring out Flare Wingman, and then you would need um, Sparkman. Just do this for now and see if I can make anything happen. I don't even know. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just doing a lot of reading right now <laughs> to just remember exactly Wait. what this stuff do does. That That is the game, man. No problem. Uh, I play Yu-Gi-Oh! in person, too, with some of my friends. And uh, we have, like, a wheel where we, like, roll, and then we'll see what deck we use. And so I am, I am used to people taking, like, 20 minutes a turn. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. Later on in Yu-Gi-Oh!'s lifespan, they start becoming thesis statements on cards. Yeah, I saw how I um, uh, saw that it gets a little ridiculous with uh, how much text is on a card. Yeah, I especially at least for me when um, I took a break from Yu-Gi-Oh! And then when I came back, Pendulum for a thing. And I remember being overwhelmed because they, they, they have the border of monsters and spells. Then they have two boxes of text. Is this enough to outbeat my dragon? No, but I'm hoping its special ability is good enough that I can do it. Nope, negating the effect doesn't mean destroying it, though. Oh, dang it! I didn't read well enough. Well, that was my only option. Then uh, I'm in trouble. <laughs> Because this shuffles, but this card gets shuffled into the extra deck at the end turn. What's that? End your turn and find out, man. Oh yeah. Oh well. Because it goes back. It, it's 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 no bueno. I am. Yeah. I I'm just trying to think of something to do, but I just that's the I think that is the one big big issue with this deck I have. Yeah. Um, I just trying to get rid of that card. <laughs> That's the, my that was my goal right now. Um, but uh, yeah, that's that's the thing here is uh, I'm I just don't have a lot of cards with high level um, attack. Yeah, no, I hear you, man. Uh, that's the problem with a lot of e heroes. Like there's like their most iconic monsters, you know, like at least from the anime, they're they're a thousand twelve hundred attack. It's not good. My elemental hero, Avian. Well, might as well protect myself. <laughs> That's about all I can do. Because I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Let's... Let's do this. I'm going to use the effect of Gear Town to only use one tribute summon for my Ancient Gear Golem Ultimate Pound. Oh my god. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> um, uh, Alright, let's, let's get into it. I think he has piercing damage. So we're going to Ultimate Pound away this face down. Oh, goodbye, Prisma. Yeah, I, I, I nothing I could do. <laughs> I 
I had something I wanted to try, but it had it, just not much I could do. Activate the ancient, effective Ancient Gear Ultimate Hound, and I'm going to send Ancient Gear Soldier to the graveyard so that he can make another attack. And I think that's game. Oh, uh, yeah. That would be game. Yeah. I am... I had a hope... But it just did not, I, like, just the cards I wanted just did not show up. <laughs> that stinks that every time we uh, do that, the connection uh, is lost. Although, I, oh, did I not set it to the three, the, the three, um, no, it's, that's the problem. I set it to single. I forgot to set it to match. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess uh, this is probably going to have to be our last set of duels. So we'll see who okay. gets the best out of three. Uh, we only go for an hour, guys. That's that is one other thing. We're only here for an hour. My elemental heroes are Dark Magician. Eh, we've seen we've seen plenty of elemental heroes. Let's do Dark Magician. All right. Like I said, I'm I'm happy. I still got one got one victory. <laughs> yeah, you did. Not bad for a pretty much complete newbie. Let's see. Defender of Chaos, Dark Magician Girl will appear. I'll be surprised if it do if she doesn't. <laughs> I'll be honest. Oh, this looks good. This looks really good. That sounds bad. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna fire off Dark Magical Circle. I'm gonna look at the top three cards in my deck. All right. Um, uh, and then I am going to choose any of them that designate the Dark Magician on them and add them to my hand. I'm going to add Soul Servant. All right. Uh, and then I select two cards to return to my deck in any order of my choice. I'm going to do it like this. Okay. What does this card do? Soul Servant, I'm going to put this card back on the top of my... Huh. Okay, and then I'm going to set a card. And then I'm going to Normal Summon Magician's Rod. Huh, didn't realize the rod could, itself could just be an attacking thing. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, and we're going to add to my hand... Jeez, uh, it's been a while since I played Dark Magician. We'll, we'll add Dark Magic Expanded back to my hand. Or to my hand. Alright. Uh, and then we're gonna end my turn. Alright, what the heck can I do? Alright, we're gonna try... This. Who are you searching for? My guess is Prisma. Yeah. If I had a way to bring out the mole whenever I wanted to, I'd be delighted. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. On your summon, I'm activating Magician Navigation. Okay. I get. To, oh, I'm I'm a fool, Derek. Uh, I get a special summon from my hand in my deck, Dark Magician. <laughs> but I have a card that gets the special summon itself out when I draw it, and I had two of them set up, but now my deck's gonna get shuffled. Oh, you messed up your uh, whole just um, s setting up the, the all the cards you had uh, to come up next. Oh, that yep. stinks. I sure did because I I I got greedy. Ugh. That's all right. Well, I have two dark magicians at least, I guess. Yeah, that's true. That's that's <laughs> definitely meaty, <laughs> especially compared to what I have right now. Oof. Um. 
Also, Bullcraft Max, thank you for the Prime subscription, saying, has anyone uh, read the manga for Yu-Gi-Oh! before? It's so funny how dark and different it is compared to what I knew growing up. I have, I've only seen, like, the, like, season one type stuff, and then a, uh, a little bit of Dual Kingdom. Oh, what, how, what the heck happened there? How'd that get banished? Uh, if Dark Magician is normal or special summon, while I have Dark Magical Circle in the field, I can target one card you control and banish it. Ah, that's a pain. Also, uh, do, 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 Justin, uh, 19958, thank you very much for the follow. Well, time to delay. <laughs> yeah, had, let's go. I had a plan. That plan was ruined. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, you're kidding me. Um... Well, we're going to do this. I'm going to banish Magician Navigation from my graveyard to target uh, one spell or trap that you control and destroy it. Oh, no. That's ridiculous. Um, we're also going to just fire off uh, a Dark Magic Expanded because this, this is not going the way that I want at all, but that's fine. We're going to give the attack to Dark Magician here. Uh. He's going to get 3,500 attack. All right, we're also going to banish Soul Servant from my graveyard to start drawing some cards based on the amount of Dark Magicians I have. All right. Or maybe I read that wrong, because I only drew one. Equal to the number of... with different names. Oh, okay. Well, that's all right. I'm going to pay a thousand life points with a Dark Magic Rail and special summon out my Dark Magician. This is going to end in one attack. <laughs> I think I think that's lethal. Yeah, it looks pretty lethal to me. All right. Well, like I said, I had a plan, but then you started banishing things. <laughs> Yay, dark magicians! <laughs> Uh, if I had not had shuffled my deck, though, uh, I had to be careful of that. That was, uh, I gotta say, that was pretty impressive to handle it, what, how many, how many turns was that? Two? <laughs> Three? Yeah, I, I feel like I know Dark Magician okay. Better, certainly better than Ancient Gear and Cyber Dry, uh, Cyber Angel. Uh-huh. Alright, I'm going first. We're gonna fire off Dark Magical Circle again. Oh, God. <laughs> Very cool. Okay. Um, I'm gonna add to my hand. Let me see here. We're gonna add to my hand Dark Magical Circle. Uh, and then we're going to put these two cards like this. Uh, uh, to your field. The one card your opponent controls and banish it. That's me. Hey. I am thinking. I'm. <laughs> I don't like my options here, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be a thousand life points to special summon out the magician of dark illusion and defense mode. All right. Then we are going to end my turn. All right, go for it. All right, what do I have here? <laughs> Oof, not a lot. <laughs> not a lot. Uh... Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it really does come down to uh, there's a couple of matches where it's like, God, I can't beat this guy. It's so hard. And then it has uh, get that magic draw beat in like no time at all. Getting such a flashback to that for those times. <laughs> Gonna add magician navigation back into the hand. All right. Um. No. No. Thank you. All right. Put down a card. Uh. And let's fire off another dark magical circle. <laughs> Might as well, I guess. Yeah. Uh. God. Jeez. Um. All right. Yeah. Let's let's do that. It said you to the hand. And then like that. What I've noticed is that my uh, deck does not have the cohesion that any of yours does. Like the animes and anime co uh, decks are not as cohesive as uh, uh, other decks, it seems. Yeah, no, it's it's sad too because the anime does such a good job of portraying it. Like Jaden always gets off Bubble Man's effect, and it's like not a great effect to pull off in reality uh -huh. but like it seems like it's really good based on the anime um yeah that's not helpful right now okay um our, alrighty let's uh let's change uh you to attack position here and let's go swinging oh goody <laughs> mirror force how'd you know that's not great. Um, <laughs> I got to um, survive somehow. I don't think there's anything that I can do in response to that. Oh, thank God. <laughs> yeah. Apple Man says apparently the God cards are actually bad in the real game. They're not fantastic, no. Oof. That's rough. Uh, they've recently, like in the past year or two release some more support for them is specifically raw to make like raw its own deck uh and it's not like terrible like uh like i have a friend who has a raw deck based on the new support and he swears by it hmm interesting but also he loses to mirror force and then whoever draws a card first yeah do i want to chain a card or effect you know what uh i don't right now Let's see where you go with this e-emergency call. Uh, that's what I'm trying to decide right now is which way I do want to go. I, mean, I don't know like how... I'm not quite sure how deadly you can be, so that's that's the thing I'm kind of wrangling in my head right now. No problem. I just realized I have an extra deck. I don't even know what's in it. <laughs> um... in this extra deck. Uh, ooh, all right, you know what? Let's do it. Okay, we're gonna start off Magician Navigation. All right. All right, we're gonna normal summon out a Dark Magician. Should've went with the other method. <laughs> Not normal summon, sorry. Special summon out a Dark Magician, and then we're gonna special summon out, um, Yet another Dark Magician. Mm. Definitely should have thought of my other thing. And then I think Dark Magical Circle should go off. Yes? Yes, please. Yep, Let's... that's it. Well, I'm de completely defenseless. <laughs> attributed one of those dark magicians to bring back magician's rod to my hand. Alright. 
Hmm. Dark magical circles are a pain. <laughs> Two. Oh, it's still my turn. I forgot. I thought it was your turn because of all this stuff that just happens. Like, all right, it's your. <laughs> oh my god. Like he's totally cut in. It's like, all right, yeah, it's his turn. <laughs> <laughs> um, I. Um... Do I not have those required? Oh, I do not have those requirements. Sorry, let's meet those requirements. I'm going to normal summon out Magician's Rod. All right. And we're going to add a spell or trap to my hands. We're going to add... <laughs> no. Um, yeah. We're going to activate the Dark Magic Curtain and send it to my hand, and then I'm going to activate it. Right. Uh I am going to pay half my life points. No, I cannot summon other monsters to turn. I, I want to activate this card. Okay, never mind. I can't do that. <laughs> We're going to activate... And we're going to select a card. Put on top of the deck. And it will be... Dark Magician Girl. Alright, now let's activate this. Oh, that just does the exact same thing as Magician's Rod. I was not thinking. <laughs> I think you can make a few mistakes and not have to worry. Uh, Alright, let's just add this. Well, that was not nearly as explosive as I was hoping it would be, but that's all right. We will move on. Ah, uh, bummer. Then. Fusion. Let's see if it actually works. <laughs> if I can actually do anything, I don't even know. I think that negates. I don't know. We're about to find out. Yep. 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 Cool. All right. <laughs> Man, I didn't realize you could negate so much stuff. All right. Well, that's that. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Um, I am going to fire off the Dark Magic Curtain for once. Pay half my life points. We're going to bring out my last Dark Magician. And no, we're not, because the game closed. Oh, really? Well, I'm pretty sure you won that match, because all I, have in, I had in my hand were three Necro Shades. Yeah. Oh, wait, what? That was all I had in my hand. Three Necro Shades. I couldn't do crap. <laughs> you had that match. Um, yeah, and as soon as that Dark Magician would have hit the field, then the uh, Dark Magic Circles go off, I banish your face down directly in, and I think that was, that was game. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I just couldn't, uh, I couldn't get, I had cards. I had, like, um, 
like when you started uh, when you banished things that one game before um, I uh, I had a wrath of neos so I was gonna I was going to use uh, the um, prisma act uh, put a ne uh, neos into the graveyard make it become a neos then use it to use wrath of, wrath of neos and wipe out your hand and try to come back but you every time I had a plan you had something to just completely destroy my deck so yeah Hey, no, that makes sense, though. Um, you know what card might work with your Necroshade strategy is Tribute to the Doomed. Mm, okay. uh, it's a magic spell that you can discard a card from your hand and then target a monster on the field and destroy it. Uh -huh. So that way, you get Necroshade into the graveyard while also handling some of the more problematic monsters on your opponent's side. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's one of those things, like, I don't have all the cards. I was just buying as many cards as I could just to get as, like, get some semblance of a deck that was in the uh, that you could make but either way uh, I think that'll end it off for our little special stream here and uh, I just want to pre uh, uh, thank everybody for coming to see me get my butt kicked but uh, hey I got one victory I'll take it <laughs> uh, and Matthew thank you very much for your uh, Patreon support and for uh, even getting me this game um, so I can try to get halfway decent at it to, to play against you so this was a lot of fun Hey, no problem. Thanks for being so willing, and I'm glad you had fun. Yeah. I'm looking forward to next time. Absolutely, absolutely. So, uh, yeah, you take care, uh, everyone in the uh, stream. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, it, I'll ask Matthew whether he wants this up on my personal channel or not to uh, to um, have it uh, to mark the occasion, I guess, <laughs> or, or yeah. uh, just leave it Go as a stream-only thing. So we'll see. But uh, thank you all so much for joining, and we will see you uh, for Amy's stream tonight at 11, where she's playing Fire Emblem Three Houses. So uh, definitely check that out. Oh yeah, raid. Uh, we're just gonna raid. We'll raid Blueberry real quick. I, I gotta get going, so we'll just start that raid, and uh, let's uh, just go shadow hashtag Shadow Realm. <laughs> That's where I'm at right now. <laughs> all right, everyone. Thank you so much. And uh, we'll see you very soon. Till then, everyone. Bye. Cool. And thanks again, Dave.